Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by, but if you're a returner, it is always nice to have you back. And this video is about the first official day of events for the 91st Great Lakes Regional Conference. And I was able to start it off by sleeping in. That felt beautiful, that felt great. I was able to finally get a full eight hours of rest, which I have not been able to do in the past month. So I was very happy about that. This was my favorite day of the entire regional conference season so far. So I got my full eight hours and then I was getting ready, getting all dressed up for the sisterhood luncheon. And the sisterhood luncheon had a, uh, a theme of blinged out teas, chucks, and pearls. So for this event, I wore my, uh, my bling Ivy League shirt and it says Ivy League, get down there. We're seated and there is a chucks contest that is happening. And all these members are out there, bedazzles, pearls, ribbons, bows, all that kind of stuff. They were very nice. I thought, and, and my mom also had gotten some of her blinged out chucks to be a part of the uh, competition. Now I am not biased. My favorite chucks were obviously my mom's, but there were also some very, very nice chucks out there. So here are some of the pictures of the chucks that we had during the uh, chucks competition. Sadly, my mom did not win, but uh, she will always be my favorite. And that was one of the things that they had going on. They also had a virtual um, photo booth that we were using. They even had cards for people to exchange with their name, their address, their chapter, all that kind of stuff, because it truly is a sisterhood luncheon, but it's also a sisterly relations event. And those were happening all throughout the program. Now, the speaker of this event was Madam 29, Dorothy Buchanan Wilson, and she did amazing. She started it off with, what would the sorority be if everyone in it was exactly like me? And I completely understand it's supposed to get you to think like, oh, we can't just have the same type of member in the sorority. We need to have those differences. We need to be able to see past our differences in order to um, have a common goal, or maybe even it is exactly our differences that allow us to be able to do so many things and excel in the way that we can. But also this came out of Madam 29's mouth and everyone loves her. Everyone loves her. And I leaned over to, uh, um, Danette Anthony Reed, the international first vice president who is going to be stepping up, uh, literally in like four months to be the new international president and CEO. And I went, it wouldn't be that bad of a sorority if they were all Madam 29. And she goes, exactly, exactly. So we had that little laugh, but we understood what she was talking about. And she just did an amazing job because she talked about how sisterhood is something that needs to be infused with every interaction that we have with each other, that sisterhood cannot just be something that we talk about, it's something we need to be about. And I'm gonna stop talking. I'm going to show you some of the amazing videos and pictures that we're taking during the sisterhood luncheon. <laughs>
YouTube Regional Directors Gala. So I got into this lovely dress and I absolutely love the sleeves. So you're gonna see them now. It will be forever immortalized in this YouTube video. But I love the sleeves on this dress. I also like how it's a square uh, neckline, which I usually don't wear those, but I feel very pretty in this dress. And this regional conference, this regional director's gala, I really liked it a lot. And especially because they had very unique entertainment. So we get there and we're seeing all of these um, uh, circus acts. So there's people that are juggling. There's people that are on stilts. We took some pictures with the people on stilts. There's people warming up for uh, aerial silk performances. There's also a contortion, two contortionists actually. And we're like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. And the thing is, we step into the um, the ballroom that they had had it in, and it felt like you were going into a big top circus just because of the way that it was decorated and how it was all dark inside the lights and all that stuff decorations were on point I go in sit down and also at this I had my mom dad and my dearie there and everyone's like oh my god is this the McCoy family oh my god oh my god because rarely I mean since coming in to the sorority we haven't been able to do many if any events together in person um Granted, that did just change this past weekend in Central Region with my mom, my sister, and I. But being able to have so much of the McCoy family together at these AK events has not happened in a very long time. Essentially, this entire night, I was thinking in my mind, oh, this is my mom's chapter member blank. This is my mom's chapter member blank. And I had to stop myself and say, no, Jasmine, remember, this is your chapter member now, too. This is Alpha Omega chapter. Or, no, Jasmine, this is not mom's region. This is your region now. And I am slowly starting to, like, reacclimate that I am a part of the Great Great Lakes region and not the notable North Atlantic region anymore. I'm going to cut in real quick because I completely forgot to talk about this. So, Madam Regional Director's entrance to her regional gala, on point. And I missed it. I was not filming it, so I think that's why I forgot to talk about it. But the hostess comes up and she says, now we're going to start our very first uh, act. We're going to have a very, very special introduction. And these guys come out with this metal frame and I can see that the bottom of the frame has four flaps. So I'm like, oh, someone's going to come out. It's probably the magician that's going to come out. So they put the drape over the metal frame wave their hands and I'm like, oh, it's, yeah, it's the magician. They pull the drape away and it was not the magician. It was Madam Regional Director. And I knew it was gonna happen. I just didn't think that it was gonna be her. So I wasn't recording. I was so angry. But I found Great Lakes um, Instagram. Someone recorded it from there. So here is Madam Regional Director's amazing entrance and then we'll get back to the other me that was filming and talking.
So a little bittersweet, but I'm definitely loving it. And also the welcome was just so warm and inviting. So we get in, looking at all the decorations, sit down. We also see the uh, aerial silk performance. That was great. I personally, whew, I, I, I feel like I could do that. I would try it, but I definitely would not be going as high as they were going for the aerial silks. Uh, they, they made it look easy. That's all I can say. And we also had amazing presentations of gifts. So Carrie J. Clark is the Great Great Lakes Regional Director. This is her final year. And also it kind of hit me that for many of the regional directors, they have only had their first regional conference where they were freshly elect, uh, freshly installed into being regional director, two virtual ones, and now an in-person one for their final year. So they've also missed out on a lot of experiences as regional directors, but they're able to make the most of it and still be celebrated for all of the work that they did do. And she is out there. She is being presented with a special gift. And they played a section of the finale from Scandal. My family loves Scandal. We had not yet gotten to the finale, but it's okay. It did, I don't think there were any spoilers, unless it was a spoiler out of context. And essentially, uh, Olivia Pope is pictured in a painting in the White House. They commissioned that same artist to paint a picture of Madam Regional Director Carrie J. Clark. And that is what was unveiled. So here is that um, uh, unveiling right now. So, without further ado, Anthony, would you unveil the beautiful portrait, our gift. Another thing about this being my new home region is I had a lot of people coming up and telling me that they already knew me. Part of that was because of my mom, her being in the region, all the work that she's been able to do. And part of that was because of people coming up and telling me that they knew me from my YouTube channel. So I got to take a lot of pictures with my subscribers, uh, both at the uh, regional director's gala, but also when I was just walking around or even at the sisterhood luncheon. And being able to meet and greet with my subscribers was something that made me feel very warm and fuzzy because they're, that is one of the first things that they're saying, that they know me from my YouTube channel, that they love my videos, they love watching them, commenting on them. So to all of those amazing subscribers that I met today, Thank you very much. I loved being able to take all those pictures with you, being able to interact with you, and also just having that heart to heart. So the final thing that we have is I did receive two gifts today from the events that I went to. The first from the Sisterhood Luncheon was a pink and green bracelet. Well, green bracelet with a pink uh, rolly ball and also a silver rolly ball. So that was from the Sisterhood Luncheon. Regional Directors Gala. We have this. I'm not sure if it's a bracelet or a necklace, but we'll find out in one second. It is a bracelet that has AKA and then an ivy leaf over here at the side. Very nice. We like that detail. And yeah, so two bracelets today. I'm going to enjoy being able to wear these with some of my outfits that I have planned for this amazing weekend. And that was all, I think, unless there is hospitality happening tonight, but I don't know, we'll find out in a few minutes. And that is all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.